One of the first videos on this channel is cutting a rubber band ball in half, and it exploded. A couple months ago, we tried to put a rubber band ball in resin so we could see a perfect cross section, and it still exploded. Now I have a personal vendetta against rubber band balls, and I'm going to see a perfect cross section if it's the last thing I do. So there were many methods suggested, and we thought of many, to figure out how to get the resin all the way inside our giant ball. There was a suggestion to make a small ball, put that in a mold, and then encase that in resin, let it harden, and then repeat for a medium and a large size ball. <coughs> there were suggestions to use a thinner resin. My personal theory is the vacuum pump was having a hard time because it was low on oil, so it wasn't getting a very good seal, so that wasn't helping. What I decided to do, I'm going to fill this cup up with enough resin to submerge this small core in and then that will seal it all into the core. And then I'm going to individually dip each rubber band in the resin. That way every rubber band will be drenched. There's no way with the vacuum that won't be able to pull all the air out. I'm actually going to add some dye to this. As they say, a lot goes a long way. So that was probably the worst idea ever because it didn't work at all. The bands just kept slipping off when I tried to double wrap them like this. <laughs> like that would happen. I dried it off and it's working a lot better. We're gonna drench it again. Okay, we're back a few days later and it's all hardened. It's looking pretty good. The resin was starting to cure on me because I was taking too long because the bands wouldn't stay on. It should be better this time now that it's bigger and I don't have to wrap the bands as tightly. Also the dye isn't really visible. So this time I'm gonna go ham sandwich on the dye. On the bright side, we now have a rubber band relic to go along with our zap pack. So I built it up to this size, human hand for scale, and now I'm going to put it in the hot box. Hot box. Here, pull on this. That's <laughs> all we got. So I made a little contraption here to make it float just a little bit. It might start floating a little bit with the resin in it, so that should be good. When I put it in the hot box, it got too hot and that made the resin cure too fast and so it shrunk. So I'm gonna fill that in real quick, but uh, this one doesn't really have access from the outside and it's the biggest one. So that's a, a big sad. You can see it, the same thing happened on this banana, uh, but also putting a banana in resin is the hardest thing ever, as you'll find out in the video that comes out in a month or more. Here's our multiple attempts. Well, that mostly worked on three out of four of the sides. A little tough to get all the way down in there, but we got most of it. And then uh, didn't work at all for the big bad side, so. Yep. <sighs> Uh. Uh. We're going to cut this straight in half. We're going to go for it. And if it comes apart, I'm going to be very sad. You did good. Thanks. We had fun. That's what really matters. But if it comes apart, I'm going to poo and fart. <laughs> Oh, 
No. You were so close. Just a little, no, stop that. Oh stop no. Stop it, <laughs> don't go. Oh. This side's looking better. This side's um, good. <laughs> I don't know if you, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Oh, no. This left side just looks like an outward navel. And then this side's just pooing. Uh, I'm very sad. Is that hard? Yeah, there's like resin in it. Do you prefer the outward navel or the butt cavity? Comment below. <laughs> I prefer the butt cavity. <laughs> Put them on your hips. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, Palmer's sausage nips. <laughs> These are pancake nipples. Right here. <laughs> That's a whole flapjack. <laughs> well, we almost had them. The sad thing is, you can't even like see the green coming through. You can see it a little bit right there. You can tell it's like spongy right here, but it's being held in place. Huh? What do I have to do to get a rubber band ball to behave? Should we try to should we try to slice it and see if it's holding Ooh, outside get a of slice? it? Slice? I think we should get a slice. You're right. Let's get a slice. It started pooping while we were setting it up. We're we gonna do it fast. Oh. Oh, that held pretty good. It's still a little squishy back here too. That's a decent little slice though. Slice of rubber bands, slice of bands. Oh, look at that. It's pretty neat. Nice pie. Do you think if I pushed this side, I could get this side to pop out? Uh, don't do that. Well, at least it looks neat. Yeah. 10 out of 10, would recommend, 100%. 10 out of 10. Yeah. So considering I put this size ball in the vacuum chamber and then used resin on all the bands from there out, rubber bands are dumb. Well, I think it's like the compression right here. It literally has so much compression on it of all the rubber bands that it squeezes all the resin out. Maybe? Probably. Resin do be thick. Ugh. <laughs> I'm still gonna call it a success though because we got a Perfect cross section here with no rubber bands blowing out the side. Great success.